Hello, uh, my name is David Nichols. I'm a writer myself, but today I'm reading a short passage from one of my favourite novelists, uh, Penelope Fitzgerald, and her, her uh, novel The Bookshop, for which I've written the introduction. So this is the opening chapter. In 1959, Florence Green occasionally passed a night when she was not absolutely sure whether she had slept or not. This was because of her worries as to whether to purchase a small property, the old house, with its own warehouse on the foreshore, and to open the only bookshop in Harborough. The uncertainty probably kept her awake. She had once seen a heron flying across the estuary and trying, while it was on the wing, to swallow an eel which it had caught. The eel, in turn, was struggling to escape from the gullet of the heron and appeared a quarter, a half, or occasionally three quarters of the way out. The indecision expressed by both creatures was pitiable. They had taken on too much. Florence felt that if she hadn't slept at all, and people often say this when they mean nothing of the kind, she must have been kept awake by thinking of the heron. She had a kind heart, though that is not of much use when it comes to the matter of self-preservation. For more than eight years of half a lifetime, she had lived at Hardborough on the very small amount of money her late husband had left her, and had recently come to wonder whether she hadn't a duty to make it clear to herself, and possibly to others, that she existed in her own right. Survival was often considered all that could be asked in the cold and clear East Anglian air. Kill or cure, the inhabitants thought, either a long old age or immediate consignment to the salty turf of the churchyard. She was, in appearance, small, wispy and wiry, somewhat insignificant from the front view, and totally so from the back. She was not much talked about, not even in Hardborough, where everyone could be seen coming over the wide distances and everything seen was discussed. She made small seasonal changes in what she wore. Everybody knew her winter coat, which was the kind that might just be made to last another year. In 1959, when there was no fish and chips in Hardborough, no laundrette, no cinema except on alternate Saturday nights. The need of all these things was felt, but no one had considered, certainly had not thought, of Mrs. Green as considering the opening of a bookshop. Thank you very much.